hello welcome back to my channel so today we are making this delicious healthy food the bind day one or tata in a siano and you know that oh what i be do so this is what we'll be using today in english it's called a uh, musk melon i think or squash there is a particular type of squash that looks so much like anu i don't know what to choose whether the winter squash a big butternut squash or um the musk melon but for the sake of the video i'll be calling it a squash so you can either choose to call it a squash like me or musk melon so all you have to do because i want to eat this um anu with yam um the bike kita apachacha gomji achorom kaiji jiwe eli enya banyo manima ni nwere ike iji nduku nya potato mob unere unere osuku were liye emu anywa ehe anywa de ya ho ihe owu na aga eji ewe eli anyu be ezigbo nni ndi igbo ona ewutem na otutu ni ime ai na echefusi ihe anyi bu nde nne na nna ai mugosiranyi ihe ha na eri we na edozi aha mbwe gbo otutu ni ime ai echefusi ga otutu nni di otwa so i was saying that you can use this squash to eat yam um potatoes and unripe plantain so i'm going to cut open this squash to remove the seed after which i'm going to cut it into little pieces and place it into the pots where the yam is and i'm going to put it face down so that it can cook properly so on my case name you know it was possible so so i was saying that the back of the squash is very strong now if not you can eat it you can use it to make sauce and eat it with the yam but the yam the the outer skin is very strong so we'll be making use of only the inner part of the squash so you cut the squash into little pieces so that it can cook properly and cook at the same amount of time which the yam will be properly cooked okay I'm going to place it face down into the pot. Ai eburi chaga anywa, otu ai si we cho it we si. Kita ai ga tanye miri ge se nyabuji. Ma bogote to na aro anyo. Chete ikudo anyo giru na na ko nwe kiye. O ka ji na eye. Add water to the yam. Make sure the water comes up a bit on the squash. Cover to cook. So I want to make the sauce. This is what I'm going to add to the anyo. That is the squash. I added crayfish to the blender. Scotch bonnet. That's the pepper. Please don't add too much so that it will not be too peppery. I'm adding the black pepper and seasoning cube to increase the taste because the dried black pepper gives a, a very unique taste to your squash sauce. So I'll be adding the ogiribo. The ogiribo is also called locust bean. This is fermented locust bean. The men, the men. Okay, so I'll be adding salt and water. Ndeba iha na che kwaketa bihe ngeju e manyo. Iha dini ime blenda anga kwa bu osendo ogiribo nu ogiribeke na crayfish. Keta kanye ganyo bere nu ni manyo naji. So I just added salt to the yam and to the musk melon or squash as I'm calling it in this video, okay? <laughs> I'm calling it squash for this video because that musk melon stuff me, I don't understand. I'll allow it to cook for five more minutes. It's been five minutes. It's very soft and it's ready. Anyway, I'm going to 
cheta nanse na maga yeji eko kazi ya makana uko kazi yesi gike. Jia yege kugo, awa yam is properly cooked. The squash is properly cooked. Both of them cooked at the right time. So now I'm going to peel off the skin of the squash. I'll be making use of only the inside for this recipe. So I'm scraping out the squash, the inner part of the squash, because that's what we'll be using for this sauce, the squash sauce we're about to prepare. Sauce he man yo kai geji we me. Ihai geji we suluji. Nya anyo geji we suluji. Makanan kuru nazu ya kaga aka. Ai me chazia, ai geme, koga le bwan polo steniji, iai na pomash. We me, kodi smooth. Koga le bwan polo awuna. Because the squash was hot, I had to improvise by adding ice to the squash. So, eto a kange su eme, ka, polo ga le denana, nyabanyo. I'm mashing the squash to be sure to make sure that there is no um, bulb, a big bulb or seed in the squash. I'm making it to be smooth. So it's smooth as you can see. Now let's prepare the sauce. Pour in one and a half cup of palm oil in a clean dry pot. Add a little diced red onions to boost the taste. Then pour in the blended condiments. Allow to simmer for about five to six minutes. Please don't bleach your palm oil because this is a natural sauce. Don't bleach your palm oil. Now I'm going to pour in the squash. The onion, I'm going to put the onion into the mixture. After adding the onion to the mixture, stir and allow to cook for two, one to two minutes and the onion is ready. How will you know when the onion is ready? When it's fully combined together, you won't be seeing the oil as on top of the onion anymore. Everything will be properly combined. Keep the for one minute. Oh, well, eh, or for my man, I got a CNA. No, oh, eh, get out, eh, go, ban why the onion is properly cooked. Serve with whatever you want pasta, yam, potatoes, or ripe plantain. The list goes on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye. Nee, go, the food is ready. We have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up. If you have any question, leave it in the, in the comment section. I'm going to answer you. See you in my next video. Bye.